So uh, thanks for introducing me. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, JSX graph uh, that can be run in the Jupyter environment. In particular, uh, I would like it to be run in such a way that it is highly accessible by everyone. Uh, so I can open the Jupyter environment to the world. So uh, that is relying on uh, amazing open source uh, projects such as uh, Jupyter Lite uh, and also JSX Graph. So uh, without further ado, uh, let me motivate the problem. So uh, like many of you, uh, we uh, I also use Moodle uh, that is embedded in Canvas. Well, uh, the Moodle uh, allow me to, for example, uh, Post programming questions. So this semester, I'm teaching the introduction to uh, computer programming to first year student. Uh, in the past two years, uh, because of the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, I have to think about how to set things up so that students can just do things uh, at home. Okay. So one thing is uh, I I I, I uh, invest my time on is the Jupyter interface. So for students to do lab assignment, uh, they can click a link in Moodle and open a Jupyter, uh, Jupyter Hub ser uh, server that we run. And the notebook for lab two can be directly opened in front of them. Now, uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of uh, Jupyter before, uh, which is a, a very good uh, open source project. It allows um, something called the literary programming, where I can mix descriptions, explanations together with executable code. So let me just uh, go through a very simple um, math uh, that I'm sure everyone, er everybody know. Uh, that is the uh, calculation of hypotenuse based on the two sides of a right angle triangle. So uh, I'm sure everyone uh, may know how to uh, prove this, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, but then for freshman uh, students, they may not be very clear about this formula. Now, what they are expected to do is they need to write a Python program to implement this formula. Wouldn't it be nice if everything is set up for them and they can directly type uh, the solution in a notebook Yes, this can be done using uh, Jupyter Hub. So you can define, uh, you, the students can actually write this function, define uh, the length of hypotenuse and calculate uh, the length C using Python notation, I mean, Python syntax to calculate, carry out, uh, implement this formula. Well, but then uh, it, it, in this semester, I think it might be a better idea if I can also explain a little bit about the Pythagoras theorem. And indeed, what if I can give them a demo of the code that can run Pythagoras theorem? Well, uh, this here we go. Uh, so this is uh, a Pythagorean uh, uh, theorem illustrated using JSX graph. Now this is done uh, not in a static web page, but it is done inside a Jupyter notebook, meaning everything can be edited. So the source code of JS graph can be edited here. Now, uh, of course, um, the power of JS graph is it is highly interactive and it runs really fast as compared to Python. Students can drag the uh, slide bar to see and verify that uh, the sum of a square plus b square is equal to c square. Okay. Now, in addition to this, of course. Um, we can uh, give more amazing uh, illustration like here. I can uh, just demonstrate how to prove Pythagorean theorem using the interaction uh, available in JS graph. And there's uh, yet another proof that we can give to the students. Uh, this is very nice because students can see a working, uh, well, a working uh, uh, widget before they write their own. Uh, but then uh, furthermore, they can see the code. So if you click uh, this show code here, you can see the JSX graph code. So this is JavaScript, not Python, although the notebook is running the Python kernel. And uh, you can 
basically customize everything because uh, you can also modify the HTML code that is used to embed, uh, embed the JSX graph here. You can modify this code and click run code and it can render uh, this graph again with the modification. So this kind of scratching can help students discover and explore uh, the content of this um, uh, code and therefore uh, learn more about the programming, how, how to write the program for this. Okay, so that seems to be uh, nice. Now, uh, how can we expand uh, the effort further? So, um, so we have, uh, Okay, so uh, then in the summer, after, uh, uh, I mean, trying the, this uh, integration between JSX Graph and uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, I asked my students uh, who mo mostly are just uh, second year students who have taken uh, my course in introduction to uh, computer programming in the first year. So uh, then I give them uh, the integration, then they play with it. Uh, and now uh, they have written a series of notebooks that uh, use JSX graph to illustrate higher uh, secondary school uh, mathematics. In particular, since I'm in Hong Kong, uh, I am developing, uh, I'm asking the students to develop these notebooks according to the HKDSE syllabus, which is the public exam before uh, entering university. So, uh, so this notebook, uh, you can, for example, the Pythagorean uh, theorem illustration is here. Now, this notebook uh, is written in uh, in a principles uh, that is uh, induction and deduction. So we ask some questions uh, so that students will try to induce or conjecture the Pythagorean theorem. And then uh, we provide detailed mathematical descriptions, uh, indeed mathematical proofs, written also in Jupyter Notebook to, um, to describe how the Pythagorean theorem can be properly stated and proved. So this is in accordance with uh, how CTU uh, uh, teach uh, their courses, that is a discovery enriched curriculum. So we try to encourage students to discover. But then during the pandemics, asking students to discover is, uh, is actually very difficult and challenging, especially for programming courses where uh, a lot of complicated setup is needed. So Jupyter does save, the, uh, save us a lot of trouble because everything is installed and you don't really, I mean, as students can just come directly and log in to the server and they can then work on it. Now, uh, then the question is, okay, although my students can benefit by entering the Jupyter Hub server and then uh, learning the JSX graph and the math that are all mixed with uh, each other. What about the public? In particular, if I develop, develop a series of notebook for secondary school, then how can they execute this notebook and enjoy this uh, literate programming learning experience? Fortunately, uh, in recent years, there's uh, much development on uh, a completely uh, browser-based implementation of Jupyter. And, uh, and we actually have developed uh, the package for JSX graph integration uh, that can be installed in Jupyter Lite platform. Okay, so uh, let's, let me uh, demo demonstrate this a little bit. So here, so if you, uh, uh, well, this is the link to the main Jupyter Lite site. So if I click on this, I don't need to log in. Indeed, anyone can use this link and they will be able to access uh, the notebooks that illustrate the mathematical concept. So, uh, I mean, uh, let me just copy this and send it to the chat. I mean, if, if I can send it to everyone, then I will uh, 
let me do it now so you can uh, you can try and see that uh, you can log in I mean you you don't have to log in to access the notebook okay so uh so let me just demonstrate if I click on the second notebook then I'll see a topic on trigonometry uh, and written by uh, one of the students uh, in CTU and I can run run the cell let me uh, pick another one I can uh, run it okay it, uh, and then run the JSX graph and then I can perform uh, I mean I can play with the widget okay now uh, you you can see uh, in this notebook the students use a cell magic uh, that is JSX graph so they can directly type in the JSX graph code within the coding cell okay so instead of like uh, putting it in a separate uh, Python uh, well uh, script file and then load it just like what I did uh, in for the course lab two assignment uh, you can also directly type the magic here okay now of course uh, the syntax highlighting uh, uh, is not really specific for uh, JavaScript it is actually Python and it is not yet intelligent enough to detect this is JavaScript and then give the correct syntax highlighting that's that's what I think well uh, but then uh, to get proper syntax highlighting and all that this can be done uh, using the scratching code here this entire widget is implemented using IPy widget, meaning that you can actually modify uh, variables uh, to be and the behavior of this widget using Python code. So that means uh, if you want to automate the generation of uh, JSX graph, you can do that. So you can create a Python code that generate JSX graph code. I'm not sure uh, what is the exact application of this, but uh, anyhow, this is possible. Okay, so uh, let me continue uh, with some other uh, 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 objective. So, um, if you want to uh, run uh, the 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 Jupyter Light uh, platform. The browser needs to be compatible. In particular, the browser, uh, the modern browser uh, that support web worker is needed. The reason is because it is running uh, a web worker that implement the Python kernel. What, what is the Python kernel that we are using? For the demo site uh, that is open to the public, by default, uh, things run in the XPython kernel. And this is because this kernel allow us to pre-install the uh, iPad, uh, I mean the, the widgets. Uh, so, so user don't have to install it themselves. Okay, so this is the most, uh, e the easiest way to enjoy, uh, I mean, uh, the learning experience provided by all this notebook. But uh, of course, uh, for advanced use uh, and for instructor and teacher uh, students, who are not content with just the, the, the package we pre-install, there are some alternative ways to use this package. Okay, um, so in particular, uh, we also have another kernel that is called a PyoDi kernel. This is indeed the, uh, an, an earlier kernel that run in browser, even before uh, XPython. Uh, the, uh, well, the advantage is that it has a lot of uh, packages you can install so let me just demonstrate uh, just demonstrate it here I can uh, for example uh, right now uh, I have line let me check if uh, it is installed yeah actually this is okay installed but then um, if I want pandas then it wouldn't work in the X Python kernel and that is because uh, I didn't pre-install it. So all the notebooks uh, in the dive into map doesn't use pandas. But I can imagine like uh, any uh, someone who are interested to go further may want to use panda. 
well, if you want to do this, then you can switch to Pyodyne kernel and uh, okay. So I let me restart the kernel. So somehow the naming is still there. I'm not sure why. But let me just check if it is running Powerdyne. Uh, it is not. So let me discuss this. So one thing uh, that I would like to mention uh, uh, due to the Jupyter, the way Jupyter Lite work, uh, uh, all these files are stored locally on the computer. So uh, locally in the browser indeed. So if uh, if anyone modify the file here and then uh, uh, clean the, the site data, then all the changes and all the file will be gone. So it is advised to download the file that uh, is modified here. Now, uh, another thing is that this is actually, uh, this document is synchronized to everyone. So indeed, uh, everyone who entered this site uh, can edit the content here. Um, I mean, I can disable that uh, collaborative feature, but then uh, I just, and, 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 well, when I install it, I enable that, that one. So uh, so to, to, be, to be safe and not to have changes overwritten by others, it would be a good idea to duplicate uh, the notebook. And the duplicated notebook with a, uh, with a copy there, uh, this, this file uh, will be stored locally and not accessible by other people. Okay, so I'm not sure if I can change the kernel. If not, then uh, I'll just start one uh, with a power die kernel. This one. Yeah, one thing uh, that is not very nice about the Jupyter Light platform is that it has to take a while to download and set up the Jupyter Lite server. And uh, that just take uh, quite a bit of, uh, I mean, uh, bandwidth. Uh, unlike uh, JavaScript that is highly optimized for download, uh, I, I would say uh, right now the power die is still uh, taking quite a bit of time to, to load. So, Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just continue without waiting for this. So, uh, okay. So, uh, so uh, that's it. another way to run the dive widget, uh, the, the, uh, the JSX graph integration is to, uh, to use Colab. So uh, uh, Jupyter Lite store things locally uh, on the browser, but then uh, it will be quite risky. I mean, if you clear the browser storage accidentally, then things will be gone. So one way to avoid that is to, uh, for, for example, to have cloud storage available by Google and you can run the uh, notebook there. Now, uh, how do you run the notebook uh, on, Google, on on Colab? So there are ways to, uh, uh, run a uh, GitHub uh, re repository, I mean, notebook in GitHub repository on Colab. So we, we can modify this link uh, to to uh, to launch it, launch any notebook. Uh, and then I can authorize. OK. So I didn't set it properly. So somehow it did take a while to get there. Finally, it get there. Then uh, now this is the code that uh, can be used uh, to install the dive widgets on Colab. So if you run it, uh, then a dive widget will be available. And then afterwards, uh, you can run the cell here on Colab, and that would also work.
Okay, so uh, not very visible, but uh, after resetting it, uh, that is fine. Okay, so you can also see the interaction here. Okay, so uh, okay, so call that work. Now let me see if file die is initialized yet. Uh, unfortunately, still uh, not initialized properly. Let me try restarting the kernel again. Yeah, Jupyter Lite is pretty new. Uh, okay, so now uh, I see a sort uh, of hollow circle. So this is working. Okay, to import uh, that, uh, to import the library there here, so I can import uh, PIP Lite first. Yes, it seems like it is still taking a while. I guess I have to uh, give up on this one. So uh, I will switch back. Okay. So uh, the next thing, of course, uh, is to install uh, the package uh, in the Conda environment. So Conda allow, uh, uh, allow us to uh, install much more uh, Python packages uh, easily and locally uh, in, in your computer. And if you want to install the tools that uh, integrate JS Scrap with, uh, with uh, Jupyter, you can uh, uh, just type this line, which will create a virtual environment with all the necessary package. Okay, so, uh, so uh, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, you can also uh, use the PYPI. Uh, you can also use PIP to install the packages there. And uh, a few things I would like to mention in addition to JSX Graph is uh, this package we de develop is under Project Dive. Uh, the intention is uh, to provide interactive learning experience to students. So in addition to uh, the widgets that we talk about that integrate JSX Graph, we also have uh, this admonition uh, on my ST syntax that uh, can be properly rendered in Jupyter Notebook and also in Jupyter Lite. And as you can see, this uh, readme file uh, in, include a lot of such uh, admonition. Now, the other one uh, that we have used, uh, we have developed, and I, I think it's very useful, is uh, what we call the OPT Lite. Now, what is OPT Lite? So um, online Python tutor, uh, here is uh, I, I, some of you may have used it before. So it allows you to have step-by-step -step execution of code that can be written in JavaScript, C, C++, or other things. Okay, for example, you can say print hello world. Uh, let me uh, just write, well, message equal to one and then print message. Then I can visualize the execution and see the step-by-step -step execution. Okay, so this is very useful for learning uh, not just uh, Python, but also JavaScript and, 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 and other languages. Now, uh, the problem uh, is there are advertisements that can be quite distracting. Uh, also, this uh, the ad is really necessary because uh, you need a central server to, uh, to run the code. Now, also because uh, the code is run on a server, so uh, to avoid security issue, uh, some of the package cannot be uh, run. For example, I cannot do something like uh, this to print the version of uh, Python used because uh, this, this package cannot be inputted, imported for security reason. Okay, now uh, our so. Our solution to this is uh, we want to implement this in Jupyter uh, in a light setting. That is, things that can be run directly inside the browser. If we can do that, then uh, there's no security risk and there's no need to um, uh, to uh, to enforce. Uh, I mean, restrict any uh, functions. So this is also part of the widget. Uh, that integrate uh, that, that can integrate JS Scrap with, Ju with Jupyter. So you can type a Jupyter Light widget. So uh, sorry, uh, OPT Light widget, and then I can say print 
uh, hello, sorry, uh, Queen hello. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, I think I probably uh, did not run uh, the cell, cell to import the widget. So after I import it, then I can run it. And that will print the hello world. But of course, uh, there's no advertisement. And in addition, in, in addition to that, I can also import the sys library. Okay, and it can print uh, the version of uh, uh, the version of Python that I'm using, which is three point ten. Uh, I can run really sophisticated programs, for example, this one uh, using uh, LRU cache uh, to implement uh, an enumeration of all the combinations of uh, n numbers. So you can see, I uh, students can step through the program, which is rather non-trivial. And they can see the visualization that show them how the enumeration is done one by one. So you can have the empty set and then the singleton, the set of size two, set of size three uh, uh, here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that is all. Uh, I, I would say that uh, this really uh, is open to to public, so because uh, everything here is run locally in the browser, it does, doesn't take us any resources. I mean, doesn't uh, require a central server, so feel free to use it. And also all the packages are published. Uh, you can uh, install it using just a simple PIP command. Okay, so that is all I will, uh, I would like to talk about. And uh, finally, I will want to acknowledge uh, all the students uh, who have helped uh, prepare the notebooks uh, in dive math uh, and that uh, hopefully can uh, have a large impact uh, in improving the virtual teaching and learning environment.